Worcester Bosch Green Star 4000 unboxing and review. My name's Alan Hart, and in today's video, we're going to unbox this um, Worcester Bosch 4000 Green Star 4000, and we're going to have a look at the boiler, strip it down a little bit, look inside, look at some of the components, and yeah, if you've got any questions, put them below, and then I'm going to put it on this wall on another video, and we'll respond to any of the questions that you have. The first thing we notice on this box is planet friendly packaging so obviously this this box can be recycled we'll have a look inside see what other what that means inside as well um, i'd like to thank heatable again heatable provided this boiler for us today heatable's provided us a lot of boilers now they've really supported this channel if you are looking for a new boiler check on their website and it gives you a fixed price for a for a new boiler so yeah let's Let's take it apart, let's have a look inside. So I've just removed straps off this. One thing to point out about this boiler is no sharp edges. So no, Worcester's got a little bit of a reputation of cutting yourself for people that don't have red gloves. And we've just got a white panel on the bottom, that's just white pipes on the bottom. Put that to one side. Got all this stuff at the top, so we've got this condensate trap up there, and then we've got our ERP label. We've got the um, manufacturing instructions. Most important thing of all, we'll have a look at that shortly. And then a bit more cardboard. I'm just turn this round. Got the fixing jig which is is always quite good on a Worcester to be honest it's also one thing to point out on this you get the easy fill on this where you just pull the clip down but you can also use the auto fill which I think is is really really good um, I haven't seen it in in, in um, on a boiler yet but maybe we'll get one maybe we'll get one and we'll try it on here but the auto fill We'll just top the boiler up for the customer. So yeah, should that should be really good. We've got just a few more fittings here. Just take off the car like this. It's a nice looking boiler. If if you're bothered about what our boiler looks, some people are, some people are, but I don't think anybody can say that, I don't think you could say it doesn't look nice, because it, it does. But yeah, what I'll do is we'll have a look inside it. So as you can see, it's a, it's a nice looking boiler. As I say, if you're bothered about what it looks like, if it's, if it's in your cupboard, it's not really gonna matter. If it's in a utility room on show, then it's a nice boiler to look at. What I'll do now, we'll remove the case on this. There's just two screws under here that we'll take out and I'll take the case off, take the front off. One thing to point out on this boiler is the low range of this, so the modulation ratio it goes down to three kilowatts. So with the new part L regulations, that's going to be really important. So if you if you average out, say your three bedroom semi, it might only need seven kilowatts heat loss, but that's at minus two or minus three outside. So when it's just like getting into winter, you won't need all that. You might only need three or four kilowatts to heat that house and to keep the house maintained. And obviously now with Patel and all this, we're into trying to save as much money as we can. Well, this one will modulate down to three kilowatts, which is really, really good. If you have a look at some of the boilers that you install, you might find that they don't go low enough. Now, I would start asking questions with their manufacturers because that's... I think that's something we need to push the manufacturers into doing. So we need to get these so they will work at a lower lower um, lower demand, if you like. So yeah, I'm bubbling on that. I'll take this case off. So as I say, we've just got two screws underneath. And then what we'll do, we'll just have a look inside this boiler. 
And this is the first Worcester drive in, I've well, hadn't installed it, just put it on the wall. But it's the first one I've done in a lot of years. I used to be, many years ago, I used to be a BAI. I used to install Worcesters every day, loads and loads of Worcesters. Um, but I haven't, I haven't installed them for a long time. One thing to point out on this, the panels come off on the sides, should you want them to. I think that one, that one would make it easier to get into. Um, this one, I don't think it makes a right lot of difference. And then, if we just pull them, we can have a look inside. The first thing you notice when you do look inside on this is the PRV is on the front. So that's a lot better than previous models where PRV were on the back. Also, the plate heat exchanger, if we just have a look there, it's one screw. So you take that one screw out, and you can take the plate heat exchanger out. So they've really thought about this boiler. The drain off still there. So the drain off on Worcester has always been amazing, to be honest. Probably best up market for draining the boiler down when you're working on it. If anybody thinks there's something that's better, put a comment below, let me know. Another thing, expansion vessel now. It's the shredder valve is on the front on it, and it's where you can get to it. If you need to replace that in the future, that just slides out. It's also got copper pipes connecting to that, and it's a big copper pipe. So hopefully that won't block up when you've got a dirty system. Um, everything is easy enough to get to. One screw there and the fan and all that bit of that come out, which I'll do um, when we get it up and running and working, I'll take that apart. Heat exchanger, that looks very similar to previous heat exchangers. Um, yeah, all in all, it looks okay. Put a comment below, let me know what you think. As I say, I will do more videos on this. We'll do some videos on this display because I actually went to Worcester and they showed me, they showed me this display and what you can do in this display. And this display is really good. So you can range rate the boiler, you can range rate these. Um, you, can set, you can set loads of things with it. Also, if you've got the controller, which just plugs in the bottom, you can see on that controller your water pressure and, and things like that, and any faults as well. So yeah, if you've got any questions, as I say, put some comments below, and I'll try my best to answer them the best I can. As I say, I will get this up and running. We will get it working, and, and then we'll do some more videos on it. Thanks for watching.